Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's the Netherlands up against Portugal. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And the contest begins. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Nazaret. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Andrea Norton. Now can she pick out a teammate? And now passing it through. Just couldn't capitalise there. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Well, sometimes advantage just doesn't work out. And the referee has awarded a free kick now. Daniele van der Donk. That's a nice-looking ball. And you need your defender to take charge. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And nicely struck. And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Kika Nazareth. Jackie Groenen on to Van der Donk oh what an opportunity still possibilities vital intervention trying to pick out a teammate what a vital intervention Too close to the goalkeeper. And intercepted it. Throw in for Portugal coming up. Well, as you can see, the Netherlands have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. 
passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead but then the one that fails to hit its target can they hit on the break and is she going to score from here and a goal now they've broken through 1-0 here Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top-quality goal. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Daniela van der Donk Janssen Lika Martins wasteful there from the Netherlands oh that's an interesting pass and able to close down the shot well can Portugal take advantage of this set piece Playing it in. Now to take it away. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Van der Donk. Linette Bedenstein. Silva. Wasn't a straightforward save, but credit to her. Corner kick played in. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So underway again with Portugal looking to find a route back into the game. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well read to ease the pressure. Andrea Norton. Possession one. Oh, a golden opportunity for her. Well, the break looked promising, but the danger has been averted. Well, ruled to have taken up an illegal position only just. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Plenty of support here. In with a chance. Oh, she saved it. Well, she's denied a certain goal there. Fantastic reaction from the keeper. Over it comes. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Losing possession here. 
Well, the Dutch haven't been able to dominate possession, as those stats tell us. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And no worries for the goalkeeper. Katarina Amado. Silva. Andrea Norton. Clean challenge. Oh, this is looking promising. Well, Portugal with the ball again. And support available. She's made a really important challenge. Nazareth. Jessica Silva. It did look on for them, but not to be. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, that pass easy on the eye. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Silva and a long way out here oh a smart stop it's going to be a throw in for Portugal here just 10 minutes remaining here could be Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. And taken short. That's excellent defending following the cross. And Portugal will get the throw in. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Come on, let's go, let's go! Options in the centre. Oh, she's made a crucial tackle there. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Trying to deliver it accurately. Dominique Janssen and back to the keeper Stephanie van der Gracht well, three minutes of stoppage time that's what the officials have said Van Donge on to Van der Donk well she keeps moving and there's the final whistle. The Netherlands have won the game. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today.